Introduction to Tides, Ocean Currents and Waves Oceans, one of the most intriguing forces of nature, are truly vast and majestic resources that contain many beautiful plant and animal species. For thousands of years, people have depended on oceans as their source of food and a highway for trade and export. completely still. People at one time believed that the ocean flow was smooth and flat. But in the 1920s, scientists began mapping the ocean flows using instruments called echo sounders that measured the ocean depth with the help of sound waves. The instruments used proved that the ocean flow had dramatic physical features such as huge mountains, deep canyons, steep cliffs and wide plains. In some parts, the ocean flow plunges to great depths known as ocean deeps or trenches. The deepest trench in the world is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific, which is about 10,800 meters below sea level. Let us discuss the characteristics of the ocean flow and the movements in the ocean, such as waves, tides, as well as ocean currents. Currents, waves and tides are the elements that drive the sea. Currents provide a passage for international boats which help us bring food and other goods from far off lands. Tides signal the stages of the moon and the time of the day, while waves give rise to beaches and coastlines. The ocean flow may be divided into four parts. The first one is called the continental shelf which is the gently sloping area of the seabed between the edge of a continent where the depth of the sea is about 180 meters. It is a submerged extension of the continent and is formed due to the erosive action of the sea. The shallowness of the continental shelf allows the sunlight to penetrate through the water to the floor which keeps the water warm and enables a healthy marine life. Hence, Continental Shelf provides some of the world's chief fishing grounds, such as those in the North Sea and the Grand Banks off the coast of Newfoundland is also found below the continental shelf in some parts, such as those of the North Sea and off the coast of Mumbai, that is, Bombay High. Offshore rigs pump petroleum from wells drilled into the continental shelf. The second part of the ocean floor is called the continental slope. It is the steep slope that links the continental shelf to the ocean floor. The slope descends steeply almost to the bottom of the ocean. The abyssal plains is another part of the ocean floor. It is the deep sea plain where the depth of the ocean floor ranges from 4000 meters to 6000 meters. There are abyssal hills, valleys and underwater volcanoes scattered across the abyssal plains. The fourth part of the ocean flow is called the Mid-Ocean Ridge. These are huge underwater mountains which rise from the abyssal plains 
from the center of the ocean floor. In addition to the above structures, the ocean floor also has lone mountains known as sea mounts, which sometimes rise above the water and form islands. As said earlier, oceans never stand still but keep moving constantly. There are three different kinds of movements that take place in oceans. The first one is called a wave, which is the up and down movement seen on the surface. are caused by the force of wind. When wind brushes the surface of the sea, a wave is formed. Average ocean waves are about 1.5 to 3 meters high and they break near the shore. The highest point of the wave is called the crest and the lowest is called the trough. Average ocean waves move through water at about 30 to 85 kilometers per hour. Waves are powerful agents of erosion which shape coastlines. Beaches are formed by the deposition of material by the waves along the shore. But not all waves are caused by wind. Some are formed due to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions.